Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to react and review the season premiere of season 15 of RuPaul's Drag Race. Yes, I am back. Yeah! New year, new hair, new everything. New apartment. <laughs> um, yeah, I didn't, you know, the last time I reviewed and reacted to a drag race season was season 13 so i didn't do all star six and i didn't do season 14. um and i actually haven't even watched our all star six so i don't i don't know what that's about but um but yeah we're here season 15. i kind of just wanted to get back to reviewing um shows just because i wanted to get my creative juices flowing i didn't really create too much last year i took some pictures but i didn't really do anything as far as video so i wanted to bring this back out um yes i don't know if i'm excited for this season i will say the promo the promo for this um season was my has been my fa favorite promo that they've had my favorite promo um, I just I love the song. I've already added it to my title ASMR. Um, I just love the way it was filmed. It was just so cute. It's, it's my favorite promo. Definitely my favorite promo. Um, so yeah, I don't really have any early favorites. I guess Sugar and Spice, they look nice. I've never seen them before. I guess they're big on TikTok and stuff, but I've never seen them. Um, they look good. I mean, they look like Aquaria, but um, so far they look good in the promo um other than that i don't nobody really stood out to me so i the only thing i watched was the um the two or boot boot or two of like christmas stuff like eggnog and christmas trees and stuff so yeah um but let's get in and yes i got new hair i was getting sick of the natural thing like i really i got this hair basically around the 10 year anniversary of me being natural so <laughs> i went natural late 2012 so of course I, I got to atlanta don't know how to act but see i was here at least a year before i got a wig okay i was here a year before i got a wig at least i don't have my eyelashes on i just started doing my makeup and stuff but i don't have the the eyelashes on so so far it's okay i don't know what's going on over here but yeah let's get into it and so before all my videos, I always um, speak about a black led organization. And so this organization that I'm going to talk about is Black Girls in Media. And so it's Black Girls in Media is a networking organization committed to support and uplift minority women in the media industry. And so it was founded in 2018. It was founded by Tasha McCaskill. McCaskill. And basically she was like struggling to find a job in the media industry and so she basically created this website and network for women of color to find opportunities in media and so if you go to their instagram page they post um jobs remote jobs mentorship programs opportunities they also have a membership program which I'm sure gives you like access to different things, um, events. So I followed them, I think last year. So I'm gonna definitely apply to some jobs on here, but yes, that is Black Girls in Media. So check them out. So let's get into it. Drag queen. Let's get into it. Perfume. Oh, wait. It's me. I'm Irene Dubois. I'm the alien queen of Seattle. Ooh, lovely hair. Bosco is actually my drag sister. Bosco! I love her natural hair. <laughs> I don't know about this outfit. Gag them a bit. For sure. My name is Lex Noir London, Ooh. and I'm the physical embodiment. I'd just say, like, effervescent, diva, flawless, stunning, period. Period. Right, she seems so young. Inches of premium human hair. Oh, it's 40 inches. Oh, yeah. no, it's not. I definitely is 40 human. I think you might have gotten scams. <laughs> Like the 
Sisters with um, ready for battle. I am Sasha the Carrie. Warrior Princess. Everybody knows who Sasha Colby is. Sasha Colby is a legend. I don't know her. Sasha, your daughter. Carrie oh, is my daughter. daughter. Oh, I said sister. Uh, it, was a, it was an easy birth. <laughs> and for the trans girls and for the house of Colby, baby. I love oh. your daughter, but I can't have Carrie be the most famous Colby. So she's seasoned. <laughs> 
Okay. Oh, I saw this already. When I saw this, I was like, who the hell is wearing this outfit? Good to see you again, sis. It's so funny because I remember I remember Ornacious name more than my Nacious name. Oh my gosh, look at that ponytail. Before, and I, was so I was about to say, yeah, because Ariana's been on before. So when I saw her, I was like, oh. Well, you know there's an ointment for that. I ran out. Stink. Well, a cash prize of $200,000 powered by... 200? Oh my gosh. She got money. Oh my gosh. So MTV got that budget. That when they were in the wash, they, um, the, that was the car wash one. Garden hose. Yeah. Yeah. I love Rue's shoes. We know you cuss, girl. I'm ready. I'm ready. Ooh. I was gonna say earlier, her look reminds me of um, the movie Fern Gully. I love that movie. It's so funny. She's so shady for someone who literally looks like a human version of COVID. <laughs> oh, I didn't say whether or not I liked her outfit. I don't know. It's just there for me. So far, the COVID queen was just there. I didn't like her picture. And then this queen is complaining. She's getting on my nerves. She's like another, she's like a pheromone. She's annoying me. I don't get it. Oh, but I like her interview outfit a lot, a lot, a lot. But she needs to shut the hell up. Hopefully this doesn't stop. Okay. Oh my gosh, her band-aid is coming down. Her band-aid's coming down. <laughs> Did you? I want to see them out of drag or get out of drag. I mean, we've already seen them out of drag. Getting to meet these girls out of drag, I can't wait for people to see how cute I am. Irene still kind of looks like a swamp witch. Damn, just drown the girl, why don't you? Why don't you close your damn mouth? <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. Ooh, the hair is kind of in the way. How is she all that woman and all that man together? I think I'm afraid of the season four. She has like a feminine face. Out of drag. It grew out of her scalp. Uh, I How the hell would they know? <laughs> okay, so of course Mother Rue wants to start these shenanigans and these stunts and stuff. And so I guess they're about to premiere the second half of the girls. So I was just scrolling through Bumble and all of a sudden the producers clean up the room and some loud mouth drag queen comes comes through the freaking workroom so i guess this is the next half of the girls which is kind of cool so let's see her titties ain't little What is she wearing? Don't tell me I'm the only one who got I don't have to fuck with no bitches. I guess it's a 
I can tell she's gonna get on my nerves. Well, thank you. <laughs> my aesthetic is very influenced by the Y2K era. I am known as a comedy queen. Girl. My biggest achievement in drag would be going viral on TikTok. My most viral video has close to 8 million views. Sounds like a broken record up in this month. So cool to be the first viral TikTok queen to grace the stage of RuPaul's Drag Race. Are you? Because <laughs> I've already heard that same thing like two times before this. <laughs> and this is. I like her look. They're definitely they're the same thing. Your underwear. This look is annoying me. Make room for your MVP. Spell J A X. My name is. I have been a competitive athlete my entire life. We could see it in them arms, girl. A competitive cheers of course. I'm from Connecticut. Yeah, I thought she said she was from Connecticut. Yeah, Puerto Rican half black. I thought she said she was Samoan. I don't be knowing. These girls are crazy. Oh, they waste. The titties are titty. Three Connecticut queens? Why? Ah, they. Brooks and I am the heavyweight champ from Houston, Texas. That's a cute outfit. Is that Eureka? Ooh, kitty heels. Kitty kitty. <laughs> I like this look. It's cute. <laughs> it's very like Vegas. How rude. No jokes against Selena. I'm giving Selena with this hair. No jokes against Selena. She has a strike in my book. Ooh. I'm confused. What is this Connecticut shit about? I love that outfit though. She looks really good. I love her wig too. She's cute. Better than anybody else in this competition. So yeah, we have a little past. If don't try to ship us, I'm not having it. I will block you. Your little nasties. Two, four, six. Liza Minnelli. That's what I was about to say about Vivacious. I still to this day say Liza Minnelli lies. Somebody. Oh, that's right. Did you? Are Girl, if I hear TikTok again. I don't like their outfits though. Do I? On social media. Did any of y'all recognize us from TikTok? I did, yeah. No. You know them, but I'm not gonna give them the satisfaction that I do. Hater. Never heard of you, baby. And I like the plastic, like fun, like party, you know, just the prettier one. Well, we always say she's kind of like Regina George and I'm Janice Ian, you know. Is this what you do on TikTok? Y'all like rehearse lines? Girl, I know you're not talking about a lot. They don't perform. Did you guys like do like more performance shows when you were back home, or have you guys been more like 
We have, we have done some performances. We have yeah. one or two performances, and they were a nightmare. We got no performance, like, do actual drag. Yeah, it's a drag competition, baby. <gasps> I'm used to other drag. Oh, so they did get to see Ariana Grande. Is no, that's not Ariana. Never mind. <laughs> Who is this? I don't think them hips don't give me Ariana. <laughs> so it is vibrations. <laughs> oh, that sucks. They didn't even get to see uh, Ariana Grande. Why didn't Ariana Grande stick around? Rue's in his same outfit. So Ariana Grande couldn't stay around for like another hour or so? I guess maybe two hours? Well, is Ariana gonna judge their um, runway? Liza Minnelli. Die. Oh, that's what I was gonna say. Um, oh yeah, I was gonna because there's like no commercials because I'm watching this online for free. But um, the whole TikTok shit. I mean, I don't know. I don't. It's a little annoying, but I mean that's the era we're in right now. Social media is huge, and so there are queens who, just like everybody else, they just like any other industry or whatever they're big on social media they're big on tiktok they're big on instagram that's not like something like i'm you know a millennial so i'm kind of like in the middle of like you know the social media era knowing knowing a time before social media and then also kind of growing up with it um but like i don't get mad at stuff like this because i'm like first of all it's rupaul's fault <laughs> rupaul could have or the producers, casting people, whatever, they could have reached out and found queens who have been around for, you know, more than two years, queens who perform in bars and, and, and pageant queens, but they're reaching out to the queens who are popular online. So if you want to blame anybody, blame them. Don't blame the girls who get on. I mean, it's not like they're going to be like, oh, I haven't performed in a bar. I don't want to you know participate like no they they want to participate like anybody else and they should be able to so um i don't understand the whole connecticut thing why do we have like six queens from connecticut that's weird did i like their outfits the twins um they were just okay it's funny hearing the one with the nose talk about her style being like a y2k thing i'm like everybody does that like it's i mean she didn't say it was unique but it's just like why like 99 in the 2000s is really 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 big right now so to me she was giving that the twins were giving that i feel like somebody in the first group was giving that but my favorite look was probably the black queen with the afro like see now her look reminds me of the early 2000s but like black women from the early 2000s who were like r&b singers not necessarily like the pop sing pop r&b like a maya or a brandy but more like a little neo soulish like a india ari maybe not all the way erica badu but you know like early 2000s they had like that very like natural kind of skin tone type of look I'm, I guess I'm thinking a little bit Indy Ari, some Mary J. Blige, like women like that, like Alicia Keys. That's what her look was reminding me of. It was, it's like a different early 2000s while most of the girls do like the pop princess, Christina Aguilera, Britney Spears type of look. Her look is a little like what the black women were wearing around that time. It's my favorite look so far. Favorite look from the second group. And then the first group, I like the Asian queen, even though I didn't like the hairline, so. This should be funny. We are training straddle that hog. Not that hog, the other one, yeah. <laughs> Her chest is throwing me off because it's like, why is it a chest and it doesn't have like areolas or something? Bruno, bitch. I am living. Bruno, look out for those trees. Does something poke him? What would y'all rather do? Would you rather do the. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, that's a nice picture. Oh. <laughs> Would you rather do this challenge or the water challenge? I'd rather do this one. I, I just, I don't want to get hosed down. It reminds me of Jim Crow. Oh my gosh, no. <laughs> Ooh, roses. I'd rather get roses than stink leaves. Who's driving this thing? She keeps on doing the same pose. <laughs> oh, that's a nice picture. Ooh, I like that picture. Ooh. Sabotage. It's because she's black. Ooh. That's a good one. I gagged, but then I wasn't gagging when I saw who it was. And we saw that on your face. You saw it come out of your mouth. Don't play in my right before the photo shoot. My eyes scroll to the top of her head and her lace is waving to me. I'll help her though. I'm not gonna talk shit, but you know. You gonna talk shit. Exactly. See, it always starts off so sweet, and then they just turn on the hurricane machine. Oh my gosh, he just grabbed her arm. And look crazy, girl. The fuck? Why didn't she smile? They kind of have similar outfits on. I couldn't really tell the difference between the two. Because I know one is kind of giving like a dark look. And light look. I got my little shower cap. Oh, interesting. Yeah. You know, spice always has to be a little different. An interesting choice. But you know, I think the shower cap is cute. It adds a little... It's gonna blow off. You can imagine how gorgeous your hair would look with the fan blowing, right? That's what you get, RuPaul. That's what you get for for casting these girls. Don't get confused now. Yours. If everyone had to describe themselves like in one adjective, what would it be? Because for it's me, one, it's icebreakers and seven grades. No, you said I was goofy, and the other day I like I was like talking to myself as you know as we do, and I was like, oh my god, I'm goofy. I realized like I just kind of like words come out, and then after I kind of like put them fix a sentence. Okay, Jasmine. A lot. <laughs> we are person. I both. Where is cornbread when you need her? Yeah, yeah, that was a that was a nice picture. Oh, this is just so much. Make your big opening even more irresistible. Shenanigans. Take it from me, our dancers. Are they bringing them in now? Isn't that a great idea? Send in the clowns, Chad. Oh my gosh, that's so funny. One of you will be going home. <sighs> For real. No. Someone is getting a bit shocked. It's a chop. Um, so I guess I'm gonna record episode two in the same video, but so far, um, this is okay, premiere. I'm glad they just got it over with and brought all the girls together. Even though I do like when, you know, they give the girls give the girls a chance to really show some of their outfits, even though some of them it doesn't really matter because they don't really have it at that moment, but it is cool that we get to see at least like three or four outfits from the girls like in the past in the last few seasons, but this season is literally we're just gonna see like probably two outfits so um but so far my early favorites i don't know their names i don't know their names um just off of looks i guess like i said the, oh my God. like i said the asian queen i liked her look i liked the 
on the, the from the second group, the black queen with the afro. I don't know, like she reminds me of Whitney Houston, even though she looks nothing like Whitney Houston. I don't know, for some reason, it makes me think of Whitney Houston, but um, I like both of their outfits and I liked the queen um, that had the furry outfit and then I liked the queen with the black kind of Vegas outfit. Her hair reminded me of something Akira had worn in, I think on her season. So I like those, those two. I think those are my favorite. And then as far as personality, I guess, the, the queen with the Afro and that's it. <laughs> The queen that I don't like, my early choices for like top, we have a top four, like I said, the queen with the afro, um, the queen with the small waist, the Asian queen. And it's funny because with the twins, I don't, I feel like I do this every season. I, I feel like I've been doing this since season 11 with Plastique. Like when they have like kind of the fishy girls, it's like, I'm like, oh, that's the one, that's the one. They're gonna do so well. And then it's just like, Plastique was just there to me. And the same with Carrie. Colby, when I saw her, I was like, oh gosh, she's gonna make it top four. And it's just like, no, no, no. It's just, they're just pretty. And I feel the same way with the twins. I don't know how well they're going to do. It's, I don't know, I just think we'll see because obviously I think that there's a lot of online celebrities or online public figures who are funny and are talented. I'm just not sure if it's them because transitioning that stuff to the stage, especially if you don't perform on the stage, is, is I think it's gonna be difficult for them because there's no do-overs, there's no editing, there's no constant like rehearsal. Um, like, like, like when you record a TikTok or whatever, so. I don't know, I just, I don't think they're gonna make it that far. Because not only, I feel like they're relying on their looks, but unlike some of the queens in the past, they don't have that um, experience with really performing. So I don't know if they're gonna make it that far. So, but as far as like a bottom, like the queen I'm not really seeing it for is probably, her name is Jax. <laughs> She's the only queen that the, the the only name that I remember, but I don't there's just something about the queens that she just seems kinda shy and kinda like closed off. Like her voice doesn't project that much. And so to me, the majority of the queens that are kinda like closed in, they don't make it too far, in my opinion. I don't think she's gonna make it that far. I don't know who else I kinda mm, because I have been wrong in the past. I don't know about the queen that's just talking so much shit with the conductor hat. She kind of, she doesn't, she kind of looks like Simone, but um, she kind of looks like Simone, but I don't know, her personality is a little different. It's not like Simone's. And so far this outfit, I'm just not really giving me anything. So I don't, I don't, I can see her being like in the middle and then the queen with the eyebrows, the freaking, I don't know if I can say this word, but um, the, 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 the one that had the underwear on the outfit, I don't know. She's just loud to me and it's, I don't know how to take her. It's just, it's, it's just, it's a little bit of a caricature. I'm not with it, but I don't know if she'll do well. She's like one of those queens that, I don't know if she's like, I think her humor is gonna come from just being loud. <laughs> I don't know. So hopefully she brings some other stuff, but I don't really see it for her. So I don't know who else. I mean, so far, I don't feel like the, the only queen to me, like I said, who's really giving like a bottom vibe is Jax. Everybody else, they're decent to me, but the people, but the queens who have stood out to me are just the three that I said. About to get into this talent show hopefully it's not a bunch of well I, I know what it was in season 14 it was just a bunch of, of dancing it was like like lip syncing that's what it was it was lip syncing that was the issue like 
there was like no originality and then the girls who did original ta who had original talents it they were boring so i just want to see something different like we're already watching a drag show we're good we're going to see a bunch of lip sync so i don't want to see you lip sync like so let's get into it